Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sunday night. There's hopefully no crackles from the microphone night. Is it working? It could be. It could be. I'm keeping an eye on my little monitor there so that it's not, it's not crackling. That's a good sign. It's working tonight. So, good evening, everybody, and oh, welcome to Sunday night is organ music tonight on this Sunday the 13th, it is the 13th, isn't it? Yes, 13th of uh, November, which is International Remembrance Day. It's Remembrance Day in English-speaking parts of the world as well as here in Germany, uh, where I now live. People were asking the other day, where do I live? Well, I live in Germany, but I'm not from Germany. I'm from Inverness in the north of Scotland, and I've lived in Germany now for 22, almost 23 years now. Good God, that's almost half my life. I moved here when I was 27. So in a few years' time, that will have been half my life will have been spent living in Germany. So that's amazing. Um, in four, well, in actually just over four years' time. Yeah, exactly. So that's amazing. Crazy. So, uh, yeah, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? And uh, yes, welcome. We have a few new faces in the chat tonight. So welcome along to all of you. If you're new for the first time, introduce yourself in the chat. Tell us who you are and tell us, for heaven's sake, why you're here and uh, what we can do for you. Um, we love having you here. It's great to have you along. Um, welcome to the Gotchor gang. That's what we are. Um, we're not a congregation, we're not an audience, we're a gang. And we get together on a regular basis and have some great fun. Now, let me let you into a little secret. Actually, it's not much of a secret. It's going to be very, very obvious when it starts. On this coming Wednesday, Wednesday is coming up, that's the 16th of November, we are having a very, very special live concert. And this concert is going to be to uh, celebrate a rather important member of the Gartro Gang's important date. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, we're not going to say too much about it now. So do join us on Wednesday evening, the usual time. So 2200 hours if you're in this part of Europe or work that out where you are. If you're on the east coast of America, that's 4 p.m. And if you're further east, then obviously it's later than that. It's the middle of the night. So sorry about that. But yes, um, it's going to be the usual time. So 2200 hours here in this part of the world. That's 9 p.m. in the UK. And like I say, 4 p.m. or earlier over in the States. So coming Wednesday, a, a very exciting private concert. I, I say private concert, but it's actually for everybody. And it is, a, well, shall we say, a privately... I'm not even going to say commissioned, a privately um, requested concert, let's put it like that. And there are requests in the concert for many members of the Gartshore gang. So um, one person has put the program together and the program has been put together for all of us. And that's rather exciting. So it's for them to say thank you for being part of the Gartshore gang and also to celebrate some wonderful passing of years, shall we say. That's a good way to put it. That was Vanessa's. Sneezing in the background, Gesundheit, as they say in this part of the world. You might say bless you, or let, let's all learn some German, shall we? So if you're not used to saying it, the Gesundheit is what you say when people sneeze. Health, in other words, it's the word for health. Um, yeah, a couple of remembrance hymns today, which are actually also evening hymns, technically. Um, and here's another one, it's absolutely wonderful, number 248 in the English hymnal. Um, it's called the English hymnal. It's sometimes also called the Anglican hymn book, um, um, whatever you want to call it. There is a new one, but I'm so old, I don't need a new one. So anyway, there you are. Oh, good evening. We have somebody new from Holland as well, Henk. Hello, Henk. Nice to have you here this evening. And yes, write in any language you want. Vanessa will translate it into something we understand for us and we'll get it going. So Henk, nice to see you. Well done. Oh, by the way, talking of Holland, um, we, received, we received a private bank transfer recently from someone called, well, am I allowed to say the name? Someone called, well, let's just say it began with D and there were two Ks in it, okay? D and then two Ks. I'm not going to say the full name, so thank you very much. You wrote on it, test, um, test transfer, but it worked, so thank you very much indeed. So thank you. It, just to let you know it worked. And um, no trouble was had. Incidentally, actually, we did have some rather interesting uh, news today financially. Um, I, got a, I got a call from Apple support. I was trying to do something online today. We have an Apple machine over there. Here's an iPad. And I was trying to update something and it said my Apple account had been 
deactivated and I thought what the hell is that about so I contacted Apple support and they said that somebody had been phishing with PH somebody had phished my um, credit card details and had added them to 18 different Apple accounts now this happened last night we were out shopping last night in the supermarket and I paid with my credit card which I usually do um, because it's the safest normally hmm. and it turns out that somebody in the vicinity got my credit card details and started adding this to different uh, Apple accounts around the world really rather weird uh, but Apple flagged it up they noticed that it was all dodgy thankfully I've got all sorts of authentication on my credit card so nobody can use it apart from me and uh, yeah so I called so Apple sorted that out then I called the credit card company and they were amazing they said yep don't you worry about it everything is sorted out cancelled new card on its way I'm very very impressed with the way these things work these days I remember years ago when I still lived in Inverness um, somebody actually stole my credit card from my wallet when I lived in Inverness and uh, used it to fly to London um, and went to various restaurants in London did all sorts of fancy things and I I was I was working in Inverness at the time and uh, po the police arrived at my work asking for me which was quite embarrassing and they just sort of said yeah um, do you know this man blah 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 he's still new credit card and he's currently in London and obviously you not so and it all worked out well and that was that's a long time ago that must be at least 20 must be getting on for 30 years ago good heavens um, so yeah very exciting but it's amazing amazing so there we are so everything's working out we're all very excited anyway back to the music sorry for that little anecdote time back to the music strength and stay
definitely, definitely, deafeningly loud, isn't it? Amazing, yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it would seem our streams are becoming popular again. The spammers are out again, so that's a good sign. <laughs> it's a wonderful sign, isn't it? Ah, uh, aren't those wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tunes? Now, on the subject of wonderful tunes, Oh, by the way, yes, we do get your email. So if you have sent us an email, if you have requests, you send them to... Busy. Vanessa's busy. What are you doing? She's busy playing around. Our poor doggy's still got his little nose problem, and Vanessa's desperate to find out what it is. And uh, we think he's got something lodged in his nose at the moment. So gang at garcho.de, there it is, is the address if you want to send us a, a request. Now, we do get your emails, and we try to get through all of them as soon as we can but sometimes it takes a long time because people do send us a lot of things so please bear with us i'm just going to very quickly do that in german danke für eure emails wir kriegen alle eure emails wenn die an diese adresse gehen gang at gancho.de wir können natürlich leider nicht alle direkt beantworten und nicht alle wünsche direkt an dem abend machen wir versuchen ein paar spontane sachen zu machen pro abend um, aber wir versuchen natürlich immer Sachen von anderen Leuten zu nehmen. Es gibt Leute, die uns immer Sachen schicken zu spielen. Es gibt auch gerne wiederholten Sachen, um, die wir schon gespielt haben. Und so, das machen wir natürlich nicht so gerne. Wir wollen immer neue Sachen haben, etc., etc. Also bitte etwas Geduld. Uh, alles wird irgendwann mal kommen. Wirklich. Okay. Sorry, just telling folks, you know, um, we get a lot of requests for the same stuff all the time. So we try not to repeat ourselves too much, obviously. Um, and, um, um, you know, we try to mix things up a little bit. So, like I said, and tonight, of course, we have a, a sort of a, we're starting off with a Remembrance Day feel. And then we're going to, at some point, move on to more fun stuff as well. Robert, right back at the beginning, was saying fun music. Well, the fun music is coming. I worry not. Um, now. I love playing hymns by Vaughan Williams. I love playing hymns by Dykes, as we just played. That was a Dykes hymn just now. And there are some amazing hymns by Arthur Sullivan. I love Arthur Sullivan's music. You know him from Gilbert and Sullivan. It's the same guy. And um, due to his gambling and drinking debts, Mr. Sullivan, or Sir Arthur Sullivan, would regularly write music and sell it to people to, you know, to uh, pay his creditors, uh, which is a rather exciting story that not many people know and not many people realize about him. Um, and a lot of his hymn tunes were sold to other people and they used them under other names. So we will never know how many hymn tunes Arthur Sullivan actually wrote because he sold them to pay off his gambling debts. There you are. That's a very Christian way to do things. How about this one? Savior again, to thy dear name we raise. With one accord, our parting hymn of praise. So once again, an evening hymn, but also perfect for services of remembrance. Or in this case, concerts of remembrance. Let's play around with this in a proper Anglican style uh, improvisation. Technical term for Anglican style improvisation, by the way, is waffling.
Ellers is the name of that tune. Saviour again to thy dear name we praise. Uh, did you get my little hint at the end there? I played another little, tiny little hint by Arthur Sullivan, uh, one of my favourite hymns by Arthur Sullivan. Now, we have a request. Let's have a look at this piece of music. And this is for Jez. This is for Jez M, our good friend Jez M. Actually, the very first number this evening was also for Jez M indirectly. And um, we are very sorry to hear of your last Jez. And uh, yeah, but this one, this is a much more bright and up night, up, uh, upbeat, that's the word, bright and upbeat number. Get the word right, Mr. G. A bright and upbeat number. I don't know it, but... It looks sight readable. It's good fun. It's a wonderful. So it's actually the kind of thing I should really be saying, having spent twenty odd years here in Germany. It's the kind of thing I really should be doing. It's called "Take Me Back," not "Carry Me Back." Take me back to dear old Blighty, and Blighty is a sort of a, another name for Britain. Blighty. Who knows where the term Blighty came from? B-L-I-G-H-T-Y. Who knows where that came from? Blighty to mean Britain. Or technically to mean the British Isles. So um, who knows where that came from? Let me know in the chat if you know where it came from. It's rather exciting. I think we'll start there. This is a sort of a, a, sort of a mark. This gets, play this gets played on Remembrance Day, doesn't it? This is one of the sort of marchy things they play, I think. It rings a bell. Let's see if it does ring a bell when I start playing it. Sight reading time! Take me back to dear old Blighty.
There we go. That's more like it. It's a bit more fun, isn't it? I hope you're all dancing along to that. What's going on here? Love a duck. Good heavens. Are we all, are we all peaky blinders? Core blimey, mate. All that kind of stuff. Core blimey, love a duck, mate, and all that. Nobody actually talks like that. Well, Dick Van Dyke did and Mary Poppins, but I don't think many people out there in the real world do. We're all terribly posh from the Garchow Gang. We all talk like no card. Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Garchow Gang. What are we going to do next, Mrs. Garchow? What is this magnificent piece of music you have here? Oh no, that's for the theatre organ. No, no, that's definitely for the theatre. Oh my God, what is that? Keska says, sa. Oh, that's also for the theatre organ, so we shall save that. Right, any goodies from the brown book of goodness tonight? I don't know. I don't know. Do, do, we don't have a request? Gleiswanderer, we must have a piece of music from the magnificent book of brown. <laughs> the magnificent book of brown. No, we're not going to do one of those. Actually, we're going to do something completely different. See if you... What's that? Oh God, hold on, Vanessa's doing something crazy. What is it? Ah, show me before you. No, 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 no. Unplayable. Yeah, show me. Oh, people are sending me scores. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, forget it. That's, a, that's, a, that's an entire orchestral score. Now on a good day, I might be able to read that, but it's on 27 pages. Mm -mm. That ain't gonna work. Nobody can sight read that fast. It's certainly not live like that. Okay, so no. But thank you anyway. We'll find something. We will find something. Find something. All right. See if you can recognize this. <laughs> ah, microphone's still on. Let's see if you recognize this.
dried out there. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Or the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Or whatever else you want to call it. Yeah, we're going to do some fun stuff now. We're going to mess about. Now, while we're on the subject of messing about, here's a request we had a long time ago, and it is on here on this organ, isn't it? Yes, it is. A long time ago in a galaxy very, very far away, I recorded... Um, yeah. Yeah, I recorded an album, a little album, on the organ in Herschbach, which is one of the organs I get to play on a regular basis here in this part of Germany. Mm. And it's a lovely little organ, and I called the album At Home, and it's, it's not actually available for sale anywhere physically these days, but I think you can still get it online, so I think it's on, even on, on iTunes. I'm not terribly sure. But I recorded, and this is one for Steve. Is Steve here tonight? Steve R, Steve Rowley. Steve, this is definitely one for you because it's another one of Gerald Shaw's favourite. Who's Gerald Shaw? Gerald Shaw was the incredibly wonderful, plummy Scottish chappy who played the organ in the Odeon Leicester Square many, many years ago. And, um, yeah, my CDs fell off the speaker while I was playing that because I was um, bopping about too much. Sorry about that. Um, yes, but Gerald Shaw recorded this on the Odeon Leicester Square many, many moons ago, and I loved the recording of it, and I copied it. And I've actually played this piece of music on the Odeon Leicester Square Compton a couple of times. Um, and when you play that organ, you just you automatically turn into Gerald Shaw. I don't know what it is about it. Something wonderful about it. But anyway, um, and this is a piece of music that people keep requesting because it's good fun. It's an old big band number. We don't really know who um, we don't really know who composed it. Um, there are versions of it with with composers, but. It's a pen name. It wasn't actually a proper composer, so we don't know who it was. But it's a wonderful piece of music simply called Harlem. And it's in the disgracefully difficult key of A flat minor. Harlem from 
sort of Gerald Shaw. And Steve, haha, <laughs> Steve has indeed the recording we're talking about. Is that all? It was a red cassette tape, wasn't it? On one side, it was uh, the Leicester Square organ, and on the other side, it was the Marble Arch organ. Actually, Steve, what's the story at the moment with the Marble Arch organ? Has somebody actually restored it and installed it somewhere? Because, um, again, Gerald Shaw was one of the last people to play the um, Marble Arch organ properly. That was an old Christie, in other words, um, Hill Norman and Beard theatre organ in the uh, Odeon Marble Arch Cinema in London. It was Europe's largest theatre organ at the time, and then it fell into disrepair, and somebody had it in a barn down in the southwest, and it fall apart and got mouldy and I don't know, whatever. So, Steve, send me an email with some details about the, uh, the, uh, those wonderful old organs. I'm sure you know. Yeah, that was Harlow. I love that. Um, this is... This sort of style of playing organ, and it really works well on any organ, particularly actually a classical organ. I don't know why, it just works. And then you've got this funny. Gerald Shaw did that with a Glockenspiel on the original. Oh, that's one for the theatre organ as well. Ah, wonderful stuff. Right. Any more classical requests, Vanessa, or is it time to move to fun music? Are we in the mood for fun music, ladies and gentlemen? I hope we are. Ticket purchase. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, by the way, everybody. Uh, people are buying some tickets. How was ticket sales this evening? I've spotted sort of half a dozen ticket sales this evening. Oh, Vanessa says, not good at all. You see, ah, here we are, there's another one. Someone just bought a ticket, even as I spoke. So thank you very much, whoever that was. You see, I'm, I get a little banner here, and it tells me that people are buying tickets. I set that up so I can see what's going on. So we have half a dozen tickets sold tonight already, this evening. That's the first hour gone, so it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for some fun music. So I think, actually, we'll stick around with this organ for a while. What's that there? Oh, this is this Gleiswanderer thing. This is this really, yeah, this is weird. Um... This is, this is actually, so you need the text for this, really. You need the words. But no, I'm not going to sing this one. Oh, by the way, what's the, what's the verdict on Fraser singing during concerts? Do we like it or don't we like it? This could become a regular feature, but we haven't decided yet. The management is still out on this one, so we haven't decided yet. Do let me know. No Toccata and Fugue tonight. Oh, good heavens, Robert. We had, uh, we, had that for, um, we had that for Halloween a couple of weeks ago, Toccata and Fugue. Mm. And, oh yes, I must talk to you about a certain upcoming event as well involving Toccatas. Actually, let's see what we can do here. Let's play around. Actually, let's play around on a solo sort of thing here. This is a piece of music by someone I've never heard of, Sebastian Kremer. Don't know who Sebastian Kremer is. He's one of those sort of, there's a German style of music called Liedermacher, so songwriters. And um, I'm guessing he's one of them. Vanessa? Sebastian Kramer? Okay. Kennst du den? No. Vanessa doesn't know him. So there you are. <laughs> so that. But it's not Rolf Sikowski either, so that doesn't matter, thank God. Uh, <laughs> that's coming up for Christmas time. Where am I? Oh, hold on. Uh-oh, where am I? Oh, there they are. My crescendo's called something else on this organ, so I need to find that. Right, let's have a go at this, see, see what this sounds like. This is a piece of music called Ich sag schon Bescheid, which means, translated, I'll let you know.
something weird just happened. You know, I don't know if you ever get this. this the first world problems, these are definitely. Um, this cuff of my shirt, while I was playing that song, one of my, the hairs on the back of my hand here got caught in my shirt and it ripped it out. And it's, it's at exactly that point where your cuff rubs on your hand. Ah, oh, no. oh, it's annoying. It doesn't hurt, but it's just annoying. Anyway, there we are. That was a fun piece of music, wasn't it? I, I've never heard that before, but I like it. It says Latin, so I played it in a Latin rhythm. I hope that was right. Uh, but I like it. I like the fact it changes from, it's an A major. And then it changes in the middle, just without any warning whatsoever. That's nice. I like songs that do that. That sort of take you surprise, take you by surprise. It changes from A major to F major, just like that. And don't forget, at the end it went. And don't forget, cha 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 always gets a finger click. Yes, one, two, three, four, uh. cha cha cha. And you all click your fingers. Everyone around the world. Where are you around the world? Tell us in the chat where you're from, ladies and gentlemen. Have you done that? Have people been telling us where they're from? Nope. Right, someone was talking about thumbs up. And we have 150 people in the chat. We've had about 600 clicks altogether. So the people in the chat aren't necessarily the people watching the video. There are always more people watching the video. But if they're not logged into their Google accounts, we don't see them in the chat. They don't have the possibility to chat. So we've got about 600 people watching. So how many thumbs up has the video had so far, Vanessa? Wie viel Daumen hoch? 81. 81 thumbs up. So that is 81. Anyone, anyone, that's, that's less than 25%. So come on, um, give the video a thumbs up. That helps YouTube know that we're loving it and we're having a good time and that the Gartro Gang is an important thing for YouTube. So that's very good to so do that, yes. And at the same time while you're doing that, help Vanessa out and uh, treat Vanessa to an online ticket. If you buy a virtual ticket, there's an option. Option one is sort of a general thank you. Option two is a tip for the director. Vanessa is our director, so you can always help Vanessa out as well. Now, I said I had something coming up about toccatas. Now, while we're on the subject of, um, let's have a big noisy registration, like this. There's a very famous toccata in the organ world that goes something like this. <laughs> the cha-cha-cha. Okay, something very interesting coming up there. Now, a long time ago, I promised the world that I would, when we got to 50,000 subscribers, that we would, I would, play Vido Staccata, and I would also play that magnificently gorgeous piece of music by, um, what's his name? How does it go again? You know, that thing by Dupre, uh, in E major, which is hell. That one. That's the one. Uh, what's it called? Um, cortege et litanie. Cortege meaning processional and litanie meaning Hare Krishna. Um, you know what I mean. Uh, but I promised both of those pieces for 50,000 subscribers. So at present, Vanessa, how are we doing on the subscriber count? We're at 48,500 and something. Is that right? Vanessa, Vanessa's playing with her mobile phone in the background. Yeah, she's, ig me. she's ignoring. How many are, how are we doing? Yeah. How are we doing? 48,500 and something. So we've got about, you know, sort of 15, 14, 1,400 and something to go until we get to 50,000 subscribers. Now, at first I thought, wouldn't it be great if we got 50,000 before Christmas? Ah, possibility. But in January... In January of next year, it's my 50th birthday. <coughs> Heart attack time. I'm going to turn 50. My mum's going to feel old when she remembers that. Mm. I'm going to turn 50 in January. Good God. That makes me feel very old. And um, wouldn't it be good if we could get at least the 50,000 subscribers by the time I turned 50? Now, at the end of January, there's going to be a huge party, an enormous online organ party for my 50th. Um, 
So get ready for that. That's going to be good fun indeed. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what we've got lined up for that. So as soon as we get 50,000 subscribers, you get your... Um, but you get the proper version, okay? You get the proper version. Hopefully on a big French organ. <laughs> Very exciting. And you get your... Uh, the Dupre as well. It's one of the only pieces of uh, music by Dupre that I can actually play because I can stretch the tenths. You need to be able to stretch to do it. Yeah, um, Dupre had huge hands. He could stretch a thirteenth in each hand. He had enormous hands. So when he, you know, all of his music has tenths and sometimes even eleventh, believe it or not. What does that mean? Well, here's an octave. And it means an octave plus two, yeah? Or one of those, or one of those, yeah? There's all sorts of tenths in there. And, yeah, he expects you to be able to do that. And French organists can. It would appear the smaller the French organist, the larger his hands. Pierre Pincemaille, who was a tiny little guy, had enormous hands. He could easily stretch an 11th. And um, Thomas Hospital, who's the young chap in uh, St. Eustache now, he took over from, uh, what was his name, Jean Guillaume. And Thomas Hospital, he's, uh, he's about that size. <laughs> If he's, if he's watching or anyone knows him, you know, I don't mean that in a nasty way, he's wonderful. He's got the most enormous hands, though. He's got incredibly large hands, which is, of course, you know what they say about men with very large hands? Big gloves. Anyway, right, enough of that. Now then, Jazz Dude just asked a question about the organ, is that right? Asked if it was, happy birthday, for, no, the end of January, Julian, the end of January. It's my birthday, the end of January. It takes a long time. Um, yes, this is Hauptwerk. Where are you going again? Vanessa's disappearing again. Oh, Vanessa's cold. Okay, I wish you could see this. Vanessa is sitting. Vanessa normally wears black. Yeah, Vanessa's always dressed in black. And today she's wearing a, sort of a, a little sort of um, uh, Morticia Adams black dress, a really tight, slinky black dress. Very, very, very sexy stuff. Uh, a slinky black dress and um, all in black. Uh, but she's feeling a bit cold, so she's um, she's put on her dressing gown as well. <laughs> so we've got a slinky black dress with a cuddly dressing gown on top. It's really rather cute, I suppose. Um, yeah, someone was asking, what is this? Yes, this is Hauptwerk. This is Hauptwerk. The software is Hauptwerk. These are digitally sampled real organs from around the world. The one we're using tonight is the organ from Alessandria in northern Italy, sampled here for Hauptwerk by Piotr Grabowski. And it's a magnificent instrument. You can do everything on it. And it's a three manual instrument. One, two, three. So my fourth manual doesn't do anything. But we're about to switch to a four manual organ. So get ready for that. The beauty of Hauptwerk. Um, yeah, the beauty of Hauptwerk. The beauty of organs. It doesn't have to be Latin American music uh, we need. We can play all sorts of fun stuff on these organs, including music by one of my favorite musicians of all time, Mr. Thomas Fats Waller.
Fat Swallows, Honey, Suck My Nose. I've played that a few times, I know, but it's such a wonderful piece of music. We have to, we have to keep it going. Right, time, ladies and gentlemen, for some fun and games. While we leave the city of Alessandria in the north of Italy, we disappear, fly across the Atlantic and land in a virtual cinema containing a virtual cinema organ. There it is, loading at the speed of light. Look at that, folks, modern technology. Click and boom, we have a theater organ. <laughs> ah, don't you love Hauptwerk? Isn't that amazing? Mm. That's why I, my new PC thing that we got earlier in the year, I made sure I installed fast SSD drives, the NVMe drives, if you're all, you know, tech freaks, um, to, do, to take care of that kind of stuff, really loading the organs as fast as possible. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Um, but I've got old-fashioned hard drives that take care of everything else in the background, and that was the problem we had last week. Mrs. G, there's a rather complicated-looking piece of music on two pieces of paper there. The one underneath. That one. Now, a couple of weeks ago, or was it last week, some, it was somebody's birthday. It was somebody's birthday and they requested, do I even have it here? I think I had the registrations for it. Do I have the register? Yes, I do. Look at this. Um, we had the registrations for this. Oh, hold on. There we are. Someone requested the typewriter. Yeah. You know that thing by, what's his name? Um... Oh, I did it here. All that kind of stuff. And if you're careful, you can do the typewriter noises with the theater organ. Now, tonight, we've had a request for something completely different. It is not a typewriter piece of music. It is, and I need to choose this carefully. I think, actually, these will work. Ha, 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 ha! That will work magnificently. We have a piano, ladies and gentlemen, on this organ. It sounds like this. And we have a xylophone. Can you hear the xylophone as well? There's a xylophone. Now, if you're listening on good headphones, you will notice that this has been done stereo. You can hear the xylophone moving around in the background. Now, this piece of music that has been requested by... Who requested this one? Oh, I printed it. I printed it out. Hardly. Um, Circus Renz. It's Wolfgang Koenig, isn't it? Yeah, Wolfgang, our friend Wolfgang, has requested this amazingly crazy piece of music by, uh, I don't know who it's by actually, it's by... Now, I have no idea what it does and Wolfgang sent me a piece of music that is just literally a melody. There are no chords underneath it, no harmonies, there's a modulation in the middle to a different key. So this is going to be fun. I have no idea what's going to happen here. So this is sight reading. And all I know is it's for, um, it's for um, a xylophone. And the xylophone player goes and his hands are flying around all the time. Now, a xylophone player has two sticks or sometimes four or more sticks. Yeah, but normally just two sticks and two hands. So it looks crazy the way they're doing it. I, however, have the luxury of five digits on my paw. So hopefully I can do this a little easier. Let's find out what this magnificent piece of music is. It's called Erinnerungen an Circus Renz. Remembering the Renz Circus. This could be interesting.
hell. That was fast. Whew, there you are, the Erinnerungen an Circus Rent. My wrist has decided to go and fall asleep. That's tough stuff. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the power of a theatre organ. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Oh, we have to show something. Has Nancy been baking again? Sheng Chong Sheng. Our friend, yeah, our friend who's actually from very close to here, uh, but has a, has, a, has, a, has, a, has, a, has a has a Chinese name on here. I'm not very good at Chinese, but Sheng 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 Kung Po, or whatever it's called. What's it called? Sheng Yua Sheng Xiang or something like that. I have no idea how you pronounce it. What's he been up to? I, what did he do? Oh, right. You know here in the Gantro Gang we love spiders. Well, Vanessa hates spiders. I love spiders. We don't have any here at the moment. This is a spider free... Is that a, spi is that a spider or is that a dead spider? Ah, that's a dead spider. Perfect. There's a dead spider in the corner over there. Perfect. So this dead spider, yes, our friend Xing Chang Chang, or whatever his name is, um, I do apologize, we can't pronounce that properly, um, has designed a spider's coffin. Click. Why is the question that comes to mind? Why would anybody design a spider coffin? That's, that, that's the weirdest, but strangest, and at the same time, kindest thing I've ever seen. Hmm. Okay, so for all you people who hoover up spiders around the world when you see them in the house, then contact our friend, Xing Chang Chong, and um, he will send you, wherever you are in the world, a little DIY spider coffin. That, that, that's weird, but at the same time, cool. Weird, man, weird. Right then, exciting stuff. Can I have that piece there? This is for our friend Kai. Now, this is actually a request that I'm supposed to send to someone else. But I listened to it today and I thought, hello, we can definitely do this. Now, it's a slightly softer number, so let's change registrations here and see what we can do with it. I think we'll have a, we'll do these ones. We'll do these registrations here. These are my bluesy registrations. But they've got sort of a film music quality about them. Don't forget, theatre organs were originally designed a long, long time ago to um, accompany silent films. Well, imagine you are in, I don't know, Imagine you're in sort of an Italian art cinema, you know, or maybe a French art, no, let's say Italian, an Italian art cinema, and there's, you know, much cigarette smoking going on, in the 1960s, I suppose, and this is a piece of music that sort of fits rather nicely, it's a very simple piece of music, but let's see what it sounds like, it's called Vulcan Arise, which means, I don't know, a uh, cloud trip, a cloud journey, cloud journey, that sounds good, doesn't it, let's call it cloud journey. And it's originally written for sort of, well, sort of accordion and electric accordion and all that kind of stuff. It's, 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 it's ethereal.
Wolkenreise. That's a rather interesting piece of music. Simple, but nice. I like it. Now, I'm, I'll be sending that to Gleiswanderer later. So, yes, definitely. So, that's from Kai for Gleiswanderer. Ooh, exciting stuff. Ah, nice. I like it. On Friday night, I played a piece of music by The Beatles. Oh, we've got, oh, hold on. All right, we've got some more. Oh, spontane spontaneity. Tell me about your spontaneous requests, world. Oh, my goodness me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. This is from... This is from... This is from The Hobbit, isn't it? I think this is this. It's from it's from Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit. Anyway, it's uh, it's 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 one of those Tolkien uh, pieces. Where when the when the hammer falls is that right? Is that is that that's a Tolkien thing, isn't it? It's either it's either this or that. Oh, now that means we can do different registraciones. Which ones shall we have tonight? Let's have these. In fact, no. Yes. In fact, yes. Yes, these are quite mysterious. We can do mysterious. Yeah, we can do mysterious. We like mysterious. All right, this is for Mukada, is that right? Mukada Tenno, wonderful. Yes. Down in the deep where the dragon used to sleep, glorious gold glimmers in our home of old. Yes, that sounds like something that something the um, dwarves would have been up to.
My microphone is not on, uh, not on, which means my director is not paying attention again. Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa. Vanessa's falling asleep in the corner. It's been a long week, and we've been we've been we've been keeping an eye on our poor doggy all week. He's been having a bit of a rough week because of his nose. And we've been having sleepless nights because there's a there's a 40 kilogram Labrador sleeping in our bedroom with us. Uh, and if he lies on a certain side, his nose gets all blocked up and then he snorts and snorts and snores and makes awful noises. And, um, and we, we keep trying to wake him up to turn him over onto the other side so he can breathe more easily through his nose. And it's it's oh, it's tough. It's a tough one at the moment. So um, but we think we've cracked it. We think we can see something lodged in his left nostril. It's was all swollen all week. And finally, the swelling is going down. And we think we can actually see something in there. So tomorrow, we're going to be finding another vet who can hopefully help us and remove said object from beak. So that's that. Yes, now, sorry, um, on Friday, yes, I have to repeat everything I said with the microphone there. Um, 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 um. Friday night. Friday night we did uh, a Beatles song. We did yesterday, and that was a birthday a birthday request for friend of the channel, Mr. Ron Riley of you know Ron Riley of uh, old Chicago radio and television fame, and um, it was Ron's birthday last week. And uh, Ron is Ron's going to be joining us on the channel very soon for a little surprise. I'm not going to tell you any more than that. And I asked on Friday night if anyone remembered Ron from the days, and we actually got a few emails, people remembering Ron, and someone actually sent some pictures, which I thought was rather kind. So thank you very much indeed. It would seem that Ron definitely is still in people's minds, for those of you who were around that part of the world in the days. And um, yes, um, very exciting stuff indeed. So Ron basically introduced the United States radio to the Beatles. Uh, he was the first. He got to join the Beatles on tour, things like that. So, you know, Ron, Ron definitely knew his stuff and he loved the Beatles songs. And I, of course, love Beatles songs. I think Beatles were a wonderful band. When I was at school, I was a Beatles fan and nobody around me understood that. They were all into dire straits in the 80s. And I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, I met Mark Knopfler uh, years later. And uh, Mark Knopfler, a wonderful guitarist, but However, he did manage to um, strengthen my opinion of him. That he's an absolute git. Um, not a very pleasant person at all. Um, definitely not pleasant. No fun to work with whatsoever. Um, just not a fun guy at all. So anyway, there you are. But wonderful musician, but not a fun guy. So there we are. However, back to the Beatles. And the Beatles were actually brought up on skiffle music. And skiffle musicians were actually brought up on jazz music. And the Beatles absolutely adored old jazz, especially George and Paul. They loved it. And Paul McCartney came up with this one in the late, in, well, later on in their career. Hold on, there must be a date here somewhere. 67, 68, I'm guessing. 60, 68, I was right. Okay, 68. And this is, this is a sort of nice old Charleston-style number from uh, the Beatles. You will recognize it. We need, I think we need our jazzy registrations for this. Actually, no, we'll have piano registrations. Pianos are on this, aren't they? Yeah, there they are. Alrighty, you might recognize it.
honey pie. Ah, wonderful stuff. Honey pie, the old Beatles number there. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that fun? Folks, 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 it's coming up to the midnight hour. And the midnight hour on Sunday means it's almost closing time. And um, yeah, we're all going to have a busy week coming up, especially here. Uh, the Gartual Gang will be very busy this week. We have, uh, like I say, we have an extra concert on Wednesday night, live, a live concert on Wednesday. So make sure, stop it. So make sure you join us for that on Wednesday. That's going to be good fun. And um, throughout the week, there will be more new videos coming. I've been working on some rather exciting music for our friend Kai. I've been working on some music for our friend Alexander. And... I've been working on some organ demonstration videos again for all the new organs that Hauptwerk is presenting at the moment, which is over the top. So my goodness, there's an awful lot going on. And, oh my goodness, and at the same time, I'm working on new videos for Gartro's Garage, which is my other hobby channel. This is the main channel where we do all the music and uh, try to make a living. <laughs> We're getting there. Not really. Uh, try to make a living. And the other channel, my hobby channel, is where I play around with cars. Mm. Yeah, I recently, uh, least, uh, recently did some heart surgery on our little Audi A2. That's a little Audi thing from the early 2000s. Basically the same size as a Polo, a Volkswagen Polo. But yeah, the Audi A2. And I had to do some heart surgery on it. Um, I had to do the timing belt, water pump service, all that kind of things. Those videos are now up on YouTube, me making a mess of things out in the garage. And uh, yes, we are about to introduce a new car. Um, well, I say new, it's a 10-year-old lump. And um, yes, we, we bought another car, a rather old one, with some problems. And those problems are going to be the subject of future videos coming up of Gotcha's Garage. That's going to be fun. So, uh, lots of content coming very soon indeed. If you are one of our Patreon members, you will also be receiving lots of interesting new comment as well. Uh, comments? Uh, sorry, content. That's the word I'm looking for. Some new content as well. If you're a channel member or a Patreon member or a Buy Me A Coffee member, all those things are available to us now, um, you will be getting some extra content as well. In the run-up to Christmas, we're going to push, push, push the channel. And like I say, folks, we're trying to turn this, we're trying to turn this into an actual living. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Um, so thanks to your help, thanks to your support, thanks to your virtual tickets that you're purchasing, um, you are helping make this possible for us. So thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. You're all rather wonderful indeed. We're going to finish off with another Fats Waller number. I'm going to turn back to big band style here. Let's go back to big band. I have a set of registrations here. I called them Chicago Blues. How cool is that? And um, years ago when I was in Chicago, I wandered into the Chicago theater um, and asked if I could see the organ. And some guy said, yeah, all right. And just let me play the organ in the Chicago theater, the wonderful big Wurlitzer. Um, so I got to do it. So um, I loved it because you could play like George Wright on that organ and make it sound, you know, all bluesy and cool, which I did. I enjoyed it very much indeed. Um, let's finish off with another Fats Waller one. This is one of my favorite ones from Fats Waller. It doesn't get played very often. It's called Willow Tree. And Fats Waller actually recorded this on a theater organ. Thank you. 